Hi, this is Don Campbell, and thanks for tuning in to this Expand to Web screencast. Google Friend Connect was released yesterday, and I'd like to do a quick walkthrough of how you can add it to your WordPress blog. The first thing you'll need to do is log in to Google Friend Connect. You can do that by going to google.com slash friendconnect, and once you get in there, uh, you can click on the button called Set Up a New Site. You'll walk through a very short uh, sort of wizard kind of a process. We just go in and put in your site name, um, put in put in the URL of your website, uh, and then you get to download a couple of files. It asks you to download a file called RPC Relay and another file called Canvas.html. And these go. Uh, I'm just going to download those to my desktop. And then what you need to do is upload those to your blog or your website. I use a tool called Transmit, it's basically an FTP tool. Uh, obviously there are a whole lot of these available, but you're going to need access to the root directory of uh, where your blog is installed, and basically just upload those two files. Then what you do is just press, to, uh, press test uh, to test the setup, and you'll be all set with your site, and you can start adding the widgets. Um, so the test will, will basically come back and, and verify that um, that your site is ready to go. Now, what you're going to want to do next is go over to on the left here where it says Members Gadgets. Uh, click on that and click on this one that says Add Members Gadget. This is going to give you the HTML that you need to put onto your site. I actually need to change the width um, of mine to 200 because that's the size of my uh, sidebar and you can change the colors if you want to and it gives you a little preview of what your gadget's going to look like when it come down here and say generate the HTML code um, go in here and copy this code because what you're going to want to do now is go to your website now, I use the thesis theme by WordPress I'm really happy with that um, and what you want to do is go to the design tab go to widgets and you want to just choose the plain old um, text widget and add it to your sidebar. Here you'll see I've got it over here. I, I titled it Members um, and then I just pasted that code in there and this is the Members gadget for Friend Connect. And the other thing that I did is I went back and grabbed one other gadget. Um, there's a list of social gadgets here and there aren't a whole lot of them yet but there's one that's pretty cool. It's called the Wall Gadget and this is kind of like the Facebook wall. And kind of like put your own Facebook wall on your website uh, and you go in here um, once again I'm going to change the width to 200 uh, you can customize the colors again and get a preview just like you did with the members gadget just get the code uh, and copy it then pop back over to your blog now I'm going to actually do this uh, one in a different sidebar I have two sidebars on my site um, and I've got the, this one is called, I, I labeled it Friend Connect Wall, and I just pasted that code into here. Um, and then when you go to my website, you can see this members gadget over here. So this is where I've got um, Friend Connect, it's showing up on my blog. You see some people are already trying it out, you can invite more friends. And then if you scroll over a little bit, you can see the wall gadget. And each page on my site has has this wall gadget on it with different comments, and you can see people are posting, um, you know, comments or they're taking look, little discussions here. You can even post videos and stuff, um, and that's really all there is to it. So it's really straightforward to add Friend Connect your to your uh, WordPress blog. Uh, one caveat though, if you're using WordPress.com, there isn't a way uh, to that I know of where you can add friend, friend connect yet because you have to be able to upload those files to to the site and you can't do that with wordpress.com and also the these um, widgets um, have javascript in them and uh, google um, wordpress.com doesn't allow you to to run those or execute those in there so they you know hopefully at some point in the future they will come out with widgets pre-built that you can just add to your wordpress.com blog but for now you're going to need to self-host WordPress. Anyway, I hope that was helpful, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. I'd look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.